Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about nesting and scope in less. N nesting and scope basically allows you to organize your LEST file the same way that you would organize your HTML file. So let me give you a quick demonstration of really what this is and how you can use it. So over here, I have my HTML file. And you'll notice over here I have a body tag. And then down here I have a main tag. And then I have a couple paragraphs. And then I have this article tag. And inside this article tag, I have this paragraph tag. And you'll notice how this HTML is laid out, right? I have this uh, main tags. And then inside of those main tags, we have these paragraphs. And then I have this button. And then I have this article. And then inside of these article tags, I have this paragraph, right? It's all laid out in like a hierarchical manner. In other words, like the main tags are a container. And inside of that main container, we have all of these attributes. This article tag is a container. And inside of the article, we have this paragraph. And this is how we structure our layouts in HTML. But if I wanted to structure styling for all of these attributes, I wouldn't be able to structure it like this in normal CSS. So let's say that I wanted to start styling these attributes, right? Maybe I wanted to give a style to main. Well, I could do this. Maybe we'll give main background color uh, yellow. And then maybe I wanted to give a color to the paragraphs that are inside of main. Well, if I want to do that, I'd have to type main p and then I could give these paragraphs, maybe we'll make them red. And imagine if I wanted to then give a color to the paragraph inside of that article that's inside of main. Well, I'd have to say main article p and then I could give it a, another color, maybe blue, right? And so I can define all the colors like this. And then when I refresh the page, it styles it just like that. But you'll notice that this styling doesn't match um, the HTML. In other words, the way that I laid out this styling doesn't match the way that I laid out the HTML. In the HTML, I had this main container, right? Then I had this article container, and I had all of these attributes inside of those different containers. But when I go to do this in CSS, I have to like rigorously specify the actual selector that I want to use and then give it some styling. What you can do with less is you can actually group all these together more like you would group them in HTML. So instead of having all of these tags, I could just use this main tag. And then inside of this main tag, um, I can define the background color. And then if I wanted to define a color for the paragraphs, I could just put a paragraph tag here. And then inside here would be all of the coloring for the paragraph. So I think we made it red. And then if I wanted to define stuff for the article, for example, I could just type article. And then inside of here, I could put all the styling for the article. So maybe we wanted to give this another background color. Um, and then inside of this article tag, I can define the paragraphs that are inside of the article. So we can make these like yellow or something. And I can just get rid of this stuff and you'll see that the styling will update over here appropriately, right? So instead of having to type out all of those individual selectors and like all those individual like HTML or CSS blocks, I can just have this laid out just like I do in the HTML, right? So I have this main container and then I have this paragraph and then I have this article container and inside the article I'm defining styling for the paragraphs. You know, if you've worked with uh, CSS before, especially like large amounts of CSS where you're you know, having to use these really long selectors, this can actually come in more handy. So you can structure your CSS the same way that you structure your HTML. And that just makes it a lot easier for you to keep track of and a lot easier for you to read. And obviously when you're, you know, going between the HTML file and the CSS file, it'll sort of make a lot more sense to you, right? So you can structure your HTML or you can structure your CSS the same way that you structure your HTML. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.